Hi guys, right now I'm going to show you um, how to play Heroes Heroes 4 and Heroes 3 Complete Edition uh, from good old games or GOG games. And uh, I was actually inform informed uh, by one of my viewers, uh, Anton, or Anton, that um, you can um, install in the uh, in the desktop mode. You can go and install an app called. Uh, Heroic Games Launcher, and that way you can uh, access your um, GOG library and uh, install games and then run them on Linux. So that's exactly what I did. So let's go ahead and launch the launcher. Here you can see I have installed uh, Heroes 3 Complete Edition and Heroes 4. <clears throat> and here are uh, the rest of my uh, library. So let's go ahead and first show the Heroes 4. Whoops. Play now. So what I did, I installed the app on... Actually, it's gonna flash a little bit sometimes. Uh, it's trying to figure out which, uh, which is the uh, main screen here. Now it got it. So, uh, so what I did, you have to go to the desktop mode and install this app, then access your, um, <coughs> your games, install them, uh, the app does all for you, so you don't really really need to do much. And um, then I just added it to uh, Steam as a non-Steam game, and now we have it here. So uh, the uh, overlay here goes crazy when launching this game. I mean, it shows all kinds. I don't know if it. I don't think it's accurate in this game, but anyways, what I like to do is. Just go ahead and put the power limit and 3 watts actually seems to be just fine with this game. So let's go ahead and launch a new game. Just a quick a, a quick quick video here. I'm not gonna wanna make this too long. And also I just uh, go to the controls and I change the uh, controls to be keyboard and mouse. So it works just fine. And you could uh, also uh, remap, remap all, all kinds of hotkeys and stuff like that. But for this video, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just such, just just going to show you how it works. So let's go with this scenario. I don't know if you can see. It's a bit hard to see on the video, but yeah. So trackpad works just as mouse, and you can click. To move your units and the um, also the triggers work as mouse keys so you can just look info about this when I'm pressing uh, left left trigger I can see all kinds of stats yeah let's just attack him even though this is not a wise move but I'm just gonna do it for this video who cares so I have only my hero here I believe I'm gonna die, but it's okay. But uh, it plays great. But uh, uh, yes, what I like to also do is just, uh, whoops, take the overlay off when I'm playing and it feels great. So there we go, I'm dead figure out yet the, the camera control. I guess you could somehow um, map the uh, joystick to control the camera, but uh, I didn't do that, so I have to uh, I have to look into that, but for now it just moves with the mouse, or the joystick can be moved as, as a mouse too. So yeah, everything seems to work here just fine, what I've been trying, what I've been playing. We can just access our castles here or the towns and build the units and stuff yeah definitely works fine and the power usage is it's pretty low when you uh, limit it and it plays just fine the, the frame time graph shows I don't know it feels fine even though it goes crazy better in this game FSR works great so let's, I'm going to try to show you one example. It's a bit hard on the video to show that, but let's just try to zoom in a little bit here. 
So maybe you can, maybe you can see the sharpness difference when I change the... Uh, so this is without FSR. I hope this shows in the video. Then FSR on. Once again, FSR off. FSR on. So yeah, definitely playable. Plays pretty good. Just have to um, remap some keys and then it's good. So, okay, let's move on to uh, Heroes 3. And same thing in this game. I would recommend uh, right away going ahead and putting the uh, power limit because otherwise it uses like uh, like 13 watts and doesn't play any better. At least I, I don't see any difference. But the mouse in this game feels a little bit sluggish. But if I remember uh, correctly, it's same even on Windows. So let's go just quickly here to show in this game again. I already showed the uh, Steam version. But yeah, this plays just fine. No problems. Well, in the Steam version, you can actually control the camera with a joystick. In this version, not. But I guess you could uh, figure that out if you uh, remap some keys, which I have to do at some point. So yeah, also in this game, the uh, overlay shows, well, it, it just goes crazy. But um, it's not, um, it's not, oops. Let's not pay attention to that. So let's just put it off. And again, let's go, well, let's visit my town just to see. What is here? I'm trying to make this video as quick as I can. Just because I was asked to show uh, Heroes 4, so I figured out why not, over, why, why not also uh, show the Heroes Complete Edition. But yeah, it plays just fine. There's no problems playing this game. Let's attack this guy. Whoops, we need to actually activate the hero. Well, let's attack him. Whoops. So here we are. Let's go through this fight and then I'm gonna also show in this game the this game the FSR because in this game you cannot change the resolution, so I don't even know what the resolution is. I guess it's like uh, I don't know, eight hundred by something. I don't know. But anyways it works great if you want the uh if you want to play the complete edition and not the not the Steam uh, HD edition. And I may uh, I may do at some point if people people want to see a tutorial how to uh, how to install the launcher and uh, and make these games work. It's pretty easy, but yeah, if I, if somebody wants wants to see that, I I guess I I could do that. And here you're gonna, of course, the, uh, edit the speed of the fights and if you wanna see the uh, movement shadow and stuff like that. So let's just put it to uh, max speed for now. So the animations are much faster now. And yeah, this game also doesn't use too much power, at least when you limit it. And I, I think you should definitely limit the uh, power usage. Okay, we want to fight. Okay, I tried to show you the uh, FSR, uh, how it works in this game. There we go. So, let's move on. Here. So this is uh, with the FSR. This is without an FSR. With the FSR, it's, it's pretty hard to show in the video. I hope this shows. So here we are without it, with it. And then you can also, of course, uh, uh, 
we can choose the sharpness let's put it, put it to five so as sharp as it can be so here's without the FSR with the FSR and also I believe you could install the HD mod uh, and, and run this on higher resolution I definitely have to look into that how to do that uh, even uh, and then actually I, I believe the mouse doesn't feel so sluggish when you install the HD mod if I remember correctly when I've been playing this on Windows so yeah I want to keep this video as short as possible so we're gonna stop here and um, I'll see you next time uh, with a couple um, Steam games so bye